Good day everyone, this is Alvin again from the Philippines and welcome to another episode of Miss Universe 2022 Contestants Profile Review and Analysis. Welcome. So today we will be talking about Curacao's representative to Miss Universe 2022 and please stay tuned as well because at the end of the video we will be putting Curacao in our list of favorites so that we will be able to, to know where she lands in our current list of favorites for the, the upcoming Miss Universe 2022 pageant. Now before we talk about their current representative this year, let's talk about the performance of Curacao and Miss Universe in the last 10 editions. So that's from 2012 to 2021. So from those specific years I felt because I felt like the last 10 years would be a more reliable source on how we could be able to check their performance they were able to pull three amazing placements in 2015 2018 and 2020 from the last 10 years their highest placement from 2012 to 2021 was achieved in 2015 by Kanisha Slice and 2018 Akisha Albert and their most recent placement was in 2020 with Chantal Verts who finished in the top 21 this year, they just crowned Gabriela Dos Santos. And before we continue, don't forget to follow her on her Instagram account, which I will be posting at the bottom of the screen. And it is at GV Briella Dos Santos, so that we can be able to follow her journey to the Miss Universe 2022 pageant. Now, Gabriela is a founder of a nonprofit organization called Light for Change, which aims to raise awareness and prevent cyberbullying. For her national pageant performance, for the swimsuit, it was great. Her walk was good, her body looked amazing, and she's very confident in presenting herself with her very stunning smile at the same time. If there's something that I wanted to see that she needs to work on, it would be leaving a performance with an impact. I mean, it was a great performance, but honestly, if I could be able to compare her performance to the other national pageant swimsuit performance that I've seen, I wouldn't rank her performance that high. So hopefully they will work on it and the next time I see her, hopefully she'll give us that lasting and memorable performance and impact. Next we have for the evening gown, I mean she screamed elegance at its finest during the evening gown competition round. She looked absolutely beautiful and for someone like her with a very stunning face, it helped her stand out easily. Her performance here was great and I'm loving the choice of gown so much except for the back part that she's holding. So she removed it during the final question round which makes her look a lot, lot better. For the question and answer round, she was asked if she have Miss Ukraine and Miss Russia as a roommate, what advice would she say or would she give before they go back to their country? And what she did is that she gave both message to both of these candidates, of course, I mean, illusion-based, just to answer the question. I love how she spoke so confidently and calm at the same time. Her answer was great too. Her message to Miss Ukraine was just okay-ish. But for Miss Russia, it was more impactful and courageous to me. So overall, I think she did great. And I am actually looking forward to hear her speak because I felt like she's actually good at it. And hearing her more in interviews would help me solidify on how consistent she is when it comes to public speaking. Overall, I felt like Kurosawa is someone that we must keep an eye on. I mean, she's got so much potentials and I can see her as someone who could surprise us with some polishing and intense training. She's already good as she is right now, but with better preparation, she could emerge as a real front runner and even a contender for the win in this competition. So right now, I am excited to see where she'll take us as we follow her journey. Having said that, Curacao is the 15th candidate that we have reviewed and here's my current ranking for Miss Universe 2022. It's almost full. My number 15 goes to Kazakhstan, 14 Mauritius, 13 Canada, 12 Korea, 11 for Malta, 10 Croatia, 9 for Ghana, 8 for Dominican Republic, 7 for Indonesia, 6 for Panama, number, number 5 Curacao. This is where I'll place her 
as of this time. Number four, Mexico, three, Venezuela, two for Philippines, and my current number one is Colombia. Now, if you haven't seen my reviews of the other candidates on this list, you can go ahead and check my YouTube channel because it's already there. And what do you think of Curaçao? Will she be able to pull a top five this year? Don't forget to leave your comments below. Don't forget to give a thumbs up and share the video as well. And most importantly, don't forget to subscribe because you'll be seeing more of these videos in the future. For now, thank you very much and have a wonderful day from the Philippines.